Hi, Tyson here with Adventure Rig. Cal and I pulled into camp pretty late last night. It was about 10.30. We were wiped. We just wanted to get the tent set up and get to bed. However, we found out that we're kind of camped in a pasture. With a pasture comes a lot of cow shit. Kind of smells like a feedlot out here. Even with the smell, still got a great night's sleep thanks to my Thermarest Neo Air Trekker SV sleeping pad. Now I'm coming off of a pretty old Thermarest pad, probably about 10 years old. It's only about an inch thick. Does a great job, it's always worked great for me. However, kind of wanted to try out the new technology and see what was out there. This is a really neat model from Thermarest. It includes their speed valve technology. How this works, it's basically like a Venturi effect. To inflate the pad, you're actually gonna blow from about six inches away from this valve right here. And as you blow into this valve, the air actually speeds up, takes some surrounding air from the exterior, and inflates the pad quite fast. Even with that, after you roll it up, you're still gonna need to use this other valve on the outside here to really get a nice firm pad. This isn't gonna inflate it completely for you, but it definitely inflates it a lot faster. Callie and I had a little bit of a race with hers. She's on a lot thicker of a pad, but it only has a valve on it. I blew her out of the water. I was almost asleep by the time she got her pad blown up. So pretty excited about that. One thing I wish, the valve here is still really similar valve to what I have on my pad that's 10 years old. I'd love it if this was more of a one-way valve somehow so that as I'm blowing it up here, the air's not wanting to rush back out as I'm trying to push it in. On Callie's pad, she's got two valves that are on top of each other, so she's able to do that. Just something that in the long run, it's not too big of a deal, but it would be nice not having to worry about air coming back out. Another nice feature about this speed valve is how fast the air comes out of this pad. If you're laying on the pad and you open this up, it's gonna deflate in about two seconds. I mean, all this air comes rushing right out of it. Now, the top of the pad is a little bit thinner of a material than what they've built the bottom of the pad out of. So they still keep it relatively lightweight. I mean, this is the Trekker model. They have a model that is even lighter than this one if you really want to go light and fast. But for what Callie and I are doing, this is the perfect model for us. Still rugged that we're not going to tear it apart on the motorcycles or anything. Those motorcycles kind of beat the crap out of everything. Another nice feature that I like about this pad is the shape. It's still a relatively wide pad. I slept on Callie's at one time. Hers is about the width of her sleeping bag. Literally, if you put your arms down, they both fall off of the pad. It's not very comfortable to me. Callie likes it a lot. I don't, but this one really suits my fancy. I can roll all over this pad. I'm still on the pad. I'm never falling off. I love the width. With the sleeping bag I have, made by Thermarest also, it's got the Synergy Link technology. So it actually has a couple straps on the sleeping bag that will strap around this pad to keep everything connected and you're never falling off. However, you don't need that sleeping bag to have this pad. It's just great to have the two together. They work awesome. Now the pad is a little bit loud. It has some insulation on the inside of the pad when you blow it up and you're kind of moving around on it. It's not the quietest. Callie has told me to stop moving around. I kind of move around a lot, keeps her up. Just another thing to make note of. Again, this is the Neo Air Trekker SV made by Thermarest. It's a great three season pad to keep you warm and comfortable on all your adventures. Thanks for watching. I'm Tyson with Adventure Rig.